Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this playlist, we are going to make complete shopping cart using PHP and MySQL. I have received lot of requests from students to make this shopping cart project so that they can submit their projects. I am going to create a separate playlist for this project in which every video will be having step by step procedure to learn and implement. So this section I will be showing you the demo of project what we are going to implement. So this will be the home page. Mostly we are going to focus on PHP, MySQL and HTML. Styling parts I will be telling you what to do from your end. This is our home page. Here I am having this menu bar inside which I am having the techno blink. Here I have add products, view products, shop it and this cart. As of now my cart is empty. When I click on this cart I will be having this message cart is empty. When I click on this shop it as of now in this project I have just displayed one product so that product is displayed. Now when I click on view products only one product is there so that product will be displayed. I will come to add products. Now here I am just going to add one product laptop. Choose file. I will select this laptop. Open. I will click on add product. I will get this message product inserted successfully and whatever data I was having inside this form that data will be removed. Now when I come to view products you can see laptop is displayed. Price of laptop is displayed and also I am having delete and edit button. Now when I come to shop it totally two products will be displayed and my cart is still remaining because I have not added any item inside the cart. Again I will come to add products. I will give here earpods. Price 15,000. Choose file. I will select this. Open. Add product. Product inserted successfully. View products. Totally I will be having three products. Now when I come to shop it. Totally three products will be displayed. Now what I want to do. I will come to view products. Now if I just want to edit this one. When I click on edit button. Product image. Product name. Product price. And also this file will come. I will select, I will remove this. Instead of small headphone, I will just write here headphone. Headphone 2. Price I will give it as 5000. And also I have to select the file. I will select the same image. Open. Update product. Now you can see I will get headphone 2. And also price is updated. If I change the image, then image will also be updated. Okay, this is editing part. Now when I click on this delete, I will be having this confirmation box. Are you sure you want to delete the product? I will click on cancel. The product will not be deleted. Again, I will click on OK. The product will be deleted. Now when I come to shop it, I will be having two products in total. Because one product I have deleted, that will be deleted from here as well. Now I will click on add to cart. Product added successfully to cart. Now my cart number will be increased. I will click on this. You can see my cart. Inside this I will be having all the details related to laptop. First I am having serial number. I have this product name. Product image. Product price. Product quantity. By default one will be displayed. Total price. And here I have this remove button. Now when I just click on this update. I am just giving the quantity as 2. I will click on update. You can see grand total will be increased to 50,000. Product price is 25,000. But quantity of 2 is 50,000. That will be displayed here. And here I am having continue shopping. I will click on this. Again I will be redirected to this page. 
I will come to part. Here I have this remove and here I have this delete all. As of now, I am having only one product. So when I click on this remove, only this product will be deleted. If I am having multiple products and if I click on this delete all, all the products will be deleted. I will show you the demo. I will come to shop it. I will add this. I will come to cart. Now you can see two products are displayed. So the total quantity is increased to 65,000. For laptop, 25 into 250,000 plus 15,000. Grand total will be 65,000. Now if I increase the quantity of AirPods, now my grand total should be 80,000. I will click on update. You can see grand total will be 80,000. Now individual products I can remove from here. I will click on this laptop delete. Remove item from the cart. Cancel. The product will not be deleted. Again click OK. The product will be deleted. Now grand total is 30,000. But in shop it, I will be having this laptop. Only from cart I have deleted. The product is still present in my store. Again I will click on add to cart. I have added this item inside my cart. Again, when I click on this add to cart, I will be getting this message product already added to the cart. So, every item only once I can add. I will come to cart. Now, from here, now again the grand total will be increased to 55,000. This is 30,000 plus 25,000. I will be getting as 55,000. Now, when I click on this delete all, are you sure you want to delete all? I will click on cancel. The products will not be deleted. And now when I just click on OK, all the products will be deleted and I will be having cart is empty. But still, these products are available in my store. And here if I just add this, now here we have one more button, proceed to checkout. Now in this playlist, we are not going to implement this proceed to checkout. For that, I will be creating separate playlist because that will be little bit advanced topic for beginners. So I do not want to mess up with all the concepts. This is the basic project for beginners if we have started with PHP and MySQL. I hope you all are excited to learn this project. I suggest you to bookmark this playlist as well as click on the bell notification icon. So whenever I upload the video, you will be notified regarding this project. That's all for this session. And also, if you guys are interested in learning Excel, I have created separate channel for Excel. If you want to learn the techniques of Excel, you can follow the channel and you can learn lot of Excel. Thank you for watching.